Did you know that you can customize the look of your Unity? If you watched some of my previous videos, you may have noticed my Unity looks a bit different. I know this is not good for tutorials, but I really don't like the default design. So if you are like me, you may be interested in how to do this. So let's check it out. Since 2019, the dark mode in Unity is no longer a premium feature. Which just seems reasonable in a time where everything has a dark mode. Go to Edit, Preferences, General. Here in the dropdown for Edit a theme, change it to dark and there it is. Without reload, just there. While we are here, you may know it. You tweak some settings, some values, and then you realize, ah, damn, I am in play mode. That's it. All your settings are resetted when leaving play mode. Under color, you can change the play mode tint. The color you select will tint your UI when in play mode. This can help you spot those moments and don't let those things happen again. I think this default Unity layout is annoying. You have to switch between scene and game mode and your relevant windows are at the left and right of your screen. Under Window, Layout, you have some pre-made layouts you can choose, such as this 2x3 and this 4-split, which may be useful in 3D to spot your scene from different angles. You also have two default views for extra tall or wide monitors. My personal layout is a variation of the 2x3. I move the project window to the bottom right below the hierarchy. This will split this sidebar. And under Window, General, I add a console window and pin it right beneath the scene view. So I can have the console and the game mode parallel to watch some logs. If you have something open in your inspector, let's say you want to drag and drop something in there, clicking in your project window likes to override this. But with this little lock icon, you can lock your current open view in the inspector. Now you can select items from your project window and drag them. And you can also open a second inspector window, if you want to drag something to several game objects or have a locked and an unlocked one. So when you've found your layout of desire, you can save it under the window tab or also here with this little short icon. But you can also load layouts from a file and check the internet for cool designs. And now go and customize your Unity. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, consider liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next time.